oil and gas. It quenches the world's thirst for energy and fuels our nation's economy. It's a leading generator of jobs and revenues. Nearly 90% of America's offshore oil rigs are located off the coast of Louisiana, accounting for 30% of all domestic oil production. The first offshore rigs rose off the coast of Louisiana in 1947, giving rise to a burgeoning service industry. And in 1955, Exxon and Texaco were coming down to Bayou Lafourche, and they needed ways to bring their supplies to their inland drill barges. And so they hired their oyster fishermen. So my grandfather, rather than you know working hard, pulling in those steel nets every day and having to separate oysters and bring them to the dock and then sell them, he rented his first two oyster boats to Exxon for $300 a month with two crew members. And that's how it all started. Today we have about $2 billion worth of assets, 78 vessels. We have 1,500 employees today. America's oil and gas industry is challenged to increase domestic production while lowering costs and environmental impacts. With nearly 90% of the nation's offshore oil rigs off the coast of Louisiana, it's not surprising that Louisiana-based Harvey Gulf International Marine is responding to help industry meet the challenge. Harvey Gulf's staff of naval architects has designed a new fleet of patented dual-fuel offshore supply vessels operating on safe, economical, and environmentally friendly liquefied natural gas, LNG fuel, with diesel backup. The first of six vessels in the new fleet was delivered by Harvey Gulf in 2015, becoming the first U.S. flagged ships powered by LNG. Responding to customer needs with advanced technology makes Harvey Gulf the industry leader for service. When Harvey Gulf uh, is taking on a, a new build program, uh, it's very important to meet with our customers. We want to hear their specific needs. We're, we're trying to bring innovative projects to the market to uh, not only give us a competitive advantage, but help out our customers uh, meet their operational goals. To ensure that safety is an integral part of the build, Harvey Gulf contracted Vard Marine for the ship design and engineering, the Gulf Coast Shipyard Group for construction, Wartzilla North America for engines, and Lockheed Martin for LNG tanks. To further ensure safety, the U.S. Coast Guard and American Bureau of Shipping are helping Harvey Gulf to develop an extensive safety training program for crews. When Harvey Gulf was investigating which uh, manufacturer to utilize for the LNG system on this new build program, uh, Wartzilla's technology came to the forefront because of the history that Wartzilla had developed over the past 12 years, starting with the first vessels, uh, LNG-powered vessels coming out of Norway. One out of three ships are powered by Wartzilla engines. That's leadership. And as innovators, in LNG-fueled engines with an international record of safety and service, Wartzilla understands how LNG will change American shipping. There are many reasons why LNG is creating a paradigm shift going forward. First, it's safe, proven technology. Second, environmental. It provides tremendous emission reductions across the board. Third, economics. It's compelling because it's fairly low cost and abundant. And fourth, and maybe superior to all, it's energy security for the United States. All of this fuel, we're blessed with a couple centuries of supply. So it's gonna have tremendous boost to the U.S. economy, and that means jobs. Harvey Gulf's patented dual fuel technology and Wartzilla's record of flawless operations ensure safety and efficiency. Dual fuel engines are first, they're a gas, engine with about 99% gas and a 1% diesel pilot. The key advantage is safety. In the event there's a disruption of any kind to the gas side, the engine immediately transcends over to diesel mode and you have full power available so you do not have a blackout on board a vessel and you continue to operate safely. With over a decade of maritime service without incident, LNG-fueled vessels are not only safe, 
but economical. The savings that LNG brings beyond the emissions reduction is in the OPEX side. And there, many things are dependent upon the quantities and locations, but essentially it's approaching 40 to 50 percent reduction in cost over diesel fuel that you see today. Safe, efficient, economical. LNG-fueled vessels are also environmentally friendly. In our mission statement, we, we talk about our commitments to the environment, and we're pushing the envelope of what that really means. Utilizing domestic natural gas as a fuel, we believe is the cleanest burning means by which we can power these vessels offshore. Um, you're looking at reducing the overall emissions, in some cases as much as 99% with regards to sulfur dioxide in particulate matter. To ensure that fuel is readily available to Harvey Gulf's LNG fleet, Harvey Gulf is constructing a fuel depot at Port Fouchon, Louisiana, the gateway to the Gulf of Mexico. The total facility is around 45 million, the LNG facility is around 25 million. It will probably create about 70 to 100 jobs. To further ensure safety aboard its vessels and at its fueling depot at Port Fouchon, Harvey Gulf is employing space technology by contracting Lockheed Martin at NASA's New Orleans facility to fabricate its LNG storage tanks. This is the same technology that fueled America's space shuttle for 30 years. The Great Lafourche Port Commission is very excited about um, Harvey Gulf bringing in the first LNG marine fueling facility. It, it's exciting to have this technologically advanced equipment coming in and out of Port Fouchon. By Harvey Gulf using Lockheed Martin to construct these tanks, we feel very confident that all the safety factors are being put in place. Safety, efficiency, economy, green technology. What else does Harvey Gulf's LNG fleet offer its customers? You're going to spend a lot less money over a 10-year period on those engines than you will on a straight diesel engine. So that's the same as it would be able to pass on to our client. And of course, the emissions output will be almost nothing. So that's something that we'll be able to pass on to the client with these tight EPA emissions footprints around drilling rigs and production facilities being captured and monitored. These LNG vessels will help lower that so that they don't get themselves into a situation where they exceed the, the permitted amount of emissions into the air in a 24-hour period, which causes them to have to shut the drilling rig down or the production facility losing millions of dollars a day. Harvey Gulf's naval architects and engineers have also designed federal and international regulatory compliance in every vessel. The LNG system that's being utilized by Harvey Gulf will definitely meet the latest Tier 4 requirements uh, for uh, engine emissions. As they currently are designed, the LNG system will exceed that which is currently in effect for emission profile with regards to CO2, NOx, SOx, and particulate matter. With the first U.S. flagships powered by LNG, Harvey Gulf continues to pioneer innovation for marine transportation to stake claim to America's newest fleet of safe, economical, and environmentally friendly vessels contact Harvey Gulf International Marine.